All right, I'm gonna show you something interesting. I just got a TWL NAND filer to work on retail. Turns out all you have to do is to have patched TWL firm, of course, that everyone already has now, thanks to RX tools or pre-patched CIAs, but dev apps behave a little differently, and for whatever reason, they still didn't work. But I found if I replaced offsets 300 and offset 312, I think, in the uh, SRL extended header, those are the ARM 9 and ARM 7 HMAC SHA-1 keys, by the way. I copied those from DSI system settings, retail SRL, and the uh, SIG from offset F80, and then repacked it, and that, it worked then. I really don't understand why that makes it work, but it does. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. And you have to launch it from dev menu because there's no icon on the home menu. Because it's a system app, that's why. And there you go. Retail, functional, TWL, NAND file. The interesting thing about this, I don't know which one of these is Sudoku. Is it this one? I don't know. The save, they're actually save containers public.save file is what people are used to working with when injecting saves into Sudoku for Sudoku hacks. But this sees it as a container that's actually something inside it. Let's see here. Select button to show the uh, menu options here. There's a sub menu, so if I go back, select that, press X, I can hit backup. And you can now back up saves and inject saves into a DSI, DSI games using this program. Another interesting thing I found out about this is you can actually view the hex and edit it with this, which is interesting. I'm not going to actually try this because I don't want to screw this save up, but apparently you can modify the save. Let's see what happens. Um, edit. Oh, so that's how it works. I don't really want to change it though, so I'm going to back out. Exit editor. Alright. Uh, no. Um, yeah, let's save data file. Uh, not save data. TWL NAN filer. And before you ask, no, it does not have access to slot 1. There is not even a menu for it, so as far as I can tell, so no, you won't be able to dump your save, your slot one cards with this. Use TWL save tool, does a good enough job for that, but this works with the uh, DSI, install DSIware, that's what this is used for. But there you go. Okay, now I'm going to test another dev app, TWL N menu. I guess it's supposed to be called TWL NAN menu, but they didn't have enough room to store that in the header, but what that is, is a, a dev app for DSI back during the days of DSI, I guess. It's from the SDK. It's not included with the 3DS SDK because obviously all title installation occurs over on CTR mode. So that's just been depreci depreciated and not used anymore. But just for the hell, uh, for laughs and giggles. I got that working too. It bricks TBL mode afterwards, but it's fun to use for a short while. <laughs> Just because I can. It shows up as Nintendo. They weren't very creative with the name. So I'm going to launch it. Hopefully this one works. I did some changes to it. Okay, there we go. As you can see, there's no valid tickets stored on TW Partition. Uh, TWLN partition, so it's not going to see him. It's in the, see, the reason it bricks to the mode is because it deletes everything afterward. And as we do know, the missing TWL titles will cause TWL mode firm to not boot. So obviously, this is not something that will be used on a regular basis. It doesn't read slot one still, unfortunately. It's supposed to, but it doesn't. I try to install a tad. Let me show that right now, actually. The only one I copied over is this one. 
this one fails for that reason probably because I'm trying to install it over itself maybe I don't know I could try and install another tad later and see if that works but this is basically the dev menu of the DSi and it's just cool that I got this to work on the 3DS would like the system menu to work but I can't that one's still white screens and as you can see here it's not displaying anything it's got a little SD menu presumably it's supposed to access slot one but it doesn't see it even though I have a that's, uh, even though I have a cartridge inserted. That's probably something with the way 3DS sets up the TWL mode. But there you go, TWL and menu. If you ever wonder what that looks like, you do now. You know now. 